a double whammy in austerity uh, process. First of all, is the, the proposal to the government over previous years, and my party was the counterpart to that in the earlier days, but not as bad as it's been today. Um, the other side of that is the proposals of what will happen to the country after the Brexit. I can definitely cap it off tomorrow in the morning to speak. Not that we took much of it in, but I do apologise for that being, because I thought it was already made one years ago. I apologise for that. Uh, the one thing that we do see that's coming, and it's repeated itself again, is that we've got a Conservative government that's going to be propped up by the DUP. Those have been around long enough in the time. Mm -hmm. That would be John Davis, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I needed to do a deal then to make sure that the Conservative government was propped up at that particular time. They did very well to that because they're only the only place outside of London that didn't have the buses deregulated. It's a major problem that we're all going to have in the near future. Questions were asked earlier. Um, the effect on that is that the people who can least afford it are going to be struggling the most. Uh, we're in our ward, these three bus services that are being amended or disappear. And actually, the, the doctor's surgery that was put in place was put there because it was guaranteed the bus service, and now we're going to lose it. So these are the people who are going to really be feeling the hardest for it. We moved our slight amendment to the austerity law. Hoping that you would take on board the full fact that we was already mentioned that we've been talking about salaries in this council. And some people are facing the ones that have to be more of their problems who really need to be supported by us. They've gone 10 years now without a decent ride of any sort. And we should be fighting uh, in, in any way, in any, any amount that we can to support them. Uh, I think I've said enough in relation to that. We need to support the past. Thank you, Councillor Mitchell. Uh, Councillor Phil Davis, I'll give you a few minutes. I second your view. Thank you. Uh, can I congratulate uh, Councillor Kathy Watson on her maiden speech? Uh, uh, I didn't agree with a word of it, but welcome to making this speech. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can I also congratulate my, uh, my colleague, Councillor Lewis, on uh, uh, tracking down a copy of my uh, my work on new book from my talk. Right. I must just, I just highlight to the council though that I think this that book um, uh, championed the uh, my political hero Clem Attlee because it was the Clem Attlee administration after the war that put in place the welfare state uh, and all of the other things. Actually, Jeremy Corbyn is currently yeah, right. right. <laughs> and I think if you're looking for new ideas to borrow, you could. Uh, well, take a lesson out of Clem's um, uh, uh, copy book. But um, the point I want to make is you know, all the commentators now, and even many Tory MPs, are saying austerity is a busted flush. Um, the evidence is clearly there. Um, this austerity that Cathy uh, champions, no. the, the reason for it was that we were, we were supposed to be, uh, be able to clear our debt. That's double. That's double. So, you have to ask yourself, Madam Mayor, a question. Why, given that all the, you know, all the commentators, you know, the, uh, even some uh, members of the, uh, the Tory party, some cabinet members are saying we need to loosen the, uh, the purse strings and pay public sector workers, why, why have we not got any movement? And the only conclusion is, we've got a completely paralysed Prime Minister who can't do anything because of it. She's um, completely a uh, gamble on the general election has completely backfired. And the reason why we can't see any movement, if we can't get any movement, is the Tories haven't got an alternative uh, leader in place and they are absolutely terrified of another general election because they know they will be massacred yes. um, at the next election. But can I give some advice to Councillor Lewis? I actually think Councillor Lewis would be a brilliant successor to Theresa May. <laughs> After all, he's got plenty of experience of ousting unpopular and <laughs> unpopular. <laughs> so now I'm going to be here, and the, the, the message, uh, the message, um, the message from this resolution, seriously, man, uh, is the Tories really must stop coming into power. They need to call a general election now, and let's get a Labour government in place that will properly invest. In our public services, investing, investing in our public services, Madam Mayor, is the sign of a civilised society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We support our resolution and we support the amendment as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.